G'day guys, my name is Caleb, otherwise known as the Critic Kebab, and I'm going to be doing a trailer reaction to the final trailer for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. I am extremely excited to see what this final trailer has in store for us. Uh, I'm really nervous. I, this is a movie that I feel like really needs to hit the home run so it ties all of the Star Wars fandom back together again. Uh, honestly, I have no idea what to expect. Uh, there are lots of twists and turns uh, that we've already seen in the previous two trailers. Uh, but now this is the final one and let's get straight into it right now. Oh man, I'm so excited. It's an instinct. Whoa. Whoa. The feeling. The force brought us together. Mm hmm. We're not alone. Good people will fight if we lead them. Whoa. People keep telling me they know me. No one does. But I do. <laughs> Whoa, is that an ice planet? Long have I waited. And now you're Whoa. coming together. Death Star. What, uh, what are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir. At my friends. Aww. Yay, R2! Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. Your destiny. Oh, is that the Palpatine right? With you. right there? Always. Oh man. I love the Star, the Star Wars music, it's so good. Every time. Oh, so good. Star Wars always puts out amazing trailers year after year, and this is the final trailer that we're gonna be getting. For a movie that involves the Skywalker saga. The story is coming to an end and I am really, really intrigued to see what they bring back from the original trilogy and what they bring in that's new that makes it whatever this movie, the final culmination and the final conclusion to everything that we've seen before. Honestly, Palpatine coming back, it really does make me nervous because... I, I don't want to ruin anything that was done in Return of the Jedi and I don't want to lose any of the stakes that came from that movie and also ruin the prophecy that you know Anakin Skywalker fulfilled in being the chosen one. So I hope none of that type of stuff is you know brought down in any way because of this movie. But regardless, I'm just super excited to see Ian McDermott come back as the Emperor. Uh, it looked like there was that brief shot of the hood, so maybe he is in some sort of physical form. I don't know. I don't know how he's coming back, but Ray and Kylo Ren continuously facing off and battling each other. I, I what I hope this movie does, similar to uh, Revenge of the Sith, uh, I hope we get an absolutely epic final battle sequence between uh, Ray and Kylo Ren or whoever. Uh, maybe the Knights of Ren because they're going to be in the movie as well. But some sort of epic lightsaber duel uh, similar to uh, Revenge of the Sith between Anakin and Obi-Wan. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be uh, on the ocean like we saw previously uh, in the other trailers. Where it's like Rey and Kylo Ren fighting on the ocean and stuff like that. Whether that will be the big duel. Or if there'll be another location that somehow involves the Emperor. I have no idea. 
And what I'm really interested to see in the movie is they didn't show any big surprises here. It's a, this is a, there's a lot of little teasers here, but I wonder if they're gonna really make any big punches in the film and like show us some really big stuff that we were not anticipating or expecting at all. Uh, obviously, Luke Skywalker is gonna come back as a Force ghost that has been confirmed by Mark Hamill. So seeing him in a Star Wars movie one last time, that I'm so looking forward to. I cannot wait. And I wonder just what his reaction will be to, like, the Emperor returning and how Kylo Ren deals with that as well. Because I, what I really hope is from The Last Jedi that we really do get to see Luke kind of interacting with uh, uh, Ben Solo and kind of haunting him and all that type of stuff that was kind of teased at the end of that film. That would be really cool, and that is one of the things I really hope they uh, end up doing. J.J. Uh, Abrams is obviously directing this movie. He directed Episode 7, and now he's coming back to kind of tie up this trilogy that honestly has... It's, it, the, I think it, The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi just by themselves are really entertaining, good movies. But this trilogy overall, it's been so scattered and so messy and it hasn't really come together. And that's because they just didn't plan it out when Disney, you know, bought Lucasfilm all those years ago off George Lucas. Um, so regardless, The Rise of Skywalker, it has so many expectations to fill. Not only does it have to conclude this trilogy that, like I said before, has been a bit messy, but it also has to conclude... All nine films within the Skywalker saga. That, you know, and that means tying everything that we saw in the prequels with Anakin Skywalker and the Clone Wars, uh, tying the original trilogy with the rise of Darth Vader and the Empire, and now that the First Order has come through and we've got the rise of the light and the dark side with Rey and Kylo Ren, and now the Emperor is somewhere in the middle, where is it all going to go? I know there's so many new, more new characters that are coming in, uh, mainly the Knights of Ren, which I'm really excited for. Um, they look badass from like the promotional stuff that I've seen of them so far. But again, so many questions, and I just don't know where it's going to go. But regardless, I want to hear what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I'm going to probably watch this trailer so many more times what, uh, leading up to the movie. Uh, I'm extremely excited because this is going to be the last Star Wars movie that we can all really get behind and really get excited for within the Skywalker saga. So let's get around it. I know lots of people didn't like The Last Jedi, and I know The Force Awakens over time has you know got a little bit of hate, but regardless of what you think of individual movies, whether that be the prequels or the sequel trilogy, we all love Star Wars for some sort of reason whether it be when you grew up or, you know, what how your parents introduced you to it or you just, you know, stumbled onto it. Like, we all love Star Wars. So let's bring out that love together and really celebrate and really embrace this final chapter in the Skywalker saga. And I'm really excited to see what J.J. Uh, Abrams and Lucasfilm give us in Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. So excited. As I said before, let me know down, your thoughts down in the comments below. Um, if you did enjoy this reaction, please go down and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review for this movie when it comes out in December. I have no idea what to expect. Hopefully they hit the home run because oh, we so need it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another video.